Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm in an awkward position, and always uh, I'm between you and the food, which is not kind of the wise thing to be in. And just briefly, we will talk today about sex, lies, and design patterns. For some of you who doesn't know me, I like to present myself as a senior software engineer, senior by age, software engineer, but what I do. So today's talk is about sex, which should be presented when I type my... Sorry, just a minute. Sex, lies, design patterns, and not to spare too much of your time about talking other things, we go straight to the most important one, which is sex, of course. So I will not talk about most popular topic on the web, and I will not talk about why there is no more scientific researches that includes that most popular topic in a human behavior type of research, because there is no control group that was not exposed to that type of topic. I will talk about the things that it was introduced like a million years ago and is a new form of reproduction. For life, the reproduction is the most important thing. And it was introduced, as I said, like a million years ago. Uh, there is some theories about it. And yes, still, sex is still a very debatable topic. If you don't recall about that process, I just pick one slide that is... Uh, try to recall your memory from the elementary school. And it means that previously there was just a sexual type of reproduction that you define, divide a cell to a new beings. While this new concept introduced a male and female type of cells that has to combine their genomes and produce a new life forms. This process is not optimal, and it has a huge drawbacks. That from the preservation perspective, it takes more energy. It has to have a larger number of individuals to sustain the species. But nevertheless, it introduces one or more most important things in life, which means a race of how many new combinations can be introduced in evolution. So this concept that produces faster innovation in life forms has managed to flourish all the living beings. And yes, introduce also a concept that there is no absolute truth. So the truth, as you may have seen so many times in movies and maybe some in real life, the truth is very based on the context and what 12 guys in a jury decides. There is no absolute truth, but yes, there are some lies. One lie that was introduced while the sex is with us is that what matters most when you cherry pick the partner that you want to reproduce with? And what are your opinions and what you des desire if you want to cherry pick who to exchange your genes with? Where you want to put your energy because that's the biggest I investment that you have. And for that reason, a couple of lies became very popular. And one of that is that, that we cherry pick, or the cells cherry pick, what they like the most. And we end up in a species that is very, very determined to get offsprings. So this is a peacock spider. He has a very unique shape and form of the colors of their body, especially in the mating time. And they have to perform a very specific dance. So the female spider will choose them instead of the other forms. And 
female spider has its own expectations about the male spider, spider and the color, the shape of the shades of that color, the brightness, the sparkness, and especially the rhythm of the dance. And it's not the same rhythm for every female spider. So some female spiders choose that they like more colorful sp other spiders or male spiders, and others choose more jazzy type of dance. But nevertheless, they cherry pick by themselves based on their priorities and expectations, and the evolution proves them wrong or not. And this is so powerful that even uh, Plato, when he tries to summon this sexual involvement in our human beings, explain that we are built by the gods with four legs, four arms, one head and two faces. And since they are afraid of our creativity and what we can achieve, they decided to split us and condemn us to find our other part for the whole life. This is how this sexual investment is important to all living beings, even us. But it is proven that during, during the, the evolution, the successful selection of partners, of successful investments, is based on a, something that is so common to us and we became, as other creatures as well, uh, parting, party, uh, partners matching machines. We see partners in all things around us, even when there is none. So from the early stage, we know how to solve these prob problems about connecting dots. We see partners in human behavior when they sell goods or buy goods. We see partners in face recognition, which is kind of natural to us. We decide, do we like this person or not in less than a millisecond? We see the patterns in the voice and the sounds around us. Based on it, on our premature brain cells, they decide this is something pleasant or not. Should it get scared? Is it a lion? Or we should not care about it at all? It's just a noise. We see patterns even in the places that nobody can imagine that there are some patterns. And yes, we use them for various purposes. And I don't know why we sh I shared this slide, but we see some patterns there as well. So every one of us or most of us that are dealing with the software industry has learned to utilize what we call design patterns. And most probably we will introduce to this book that these four guys presented in 1984 and later called the Gang of Four, which is not related to any apocalyptic term. So they are not writers of apocalyptic forms. But also with this knowledge of design patterns and that we can utilize some of these else's achievements and success to make our own come also a bit of lies. And we see it in everyday media, in everyday life. Some like singletons, some like Angular, some like Vim, others like PHP, Java, and they want to present their success in investment of time and energy as the universal thing and a good selection. Some things are hype, some things are marketing, some things are not related to the context that you are working on. And yes, there are success stories, but also there are not so successful stories. What we have also accomplished is to recognize a bunch of anti-patterns. And I know that each and every one of us have experienced that in the first person. My personal is the cash cow, because if you have a great idea about the organization that you are working with has a cash cow that produces most of the revenue, it is almost impossible, if not 
very hard to pass that idea to become a next big thing in that organization because you're comparing a future success with the current one and people are not so keen to make that decision there are a bunch of them and i just cherry pick one slide for you so you can grasp what you have already experienced or heard of but the state that we are working on is currently changing and changing every day even today on this conference for the last two three days we heard a lot of talks about microservices docker containers uh, cloud shifting changing in organizations and everything which is kind of nice and will bring us new revenues and new success but are we equipped with the patterns or per knowledge that we can leverage so there are some guys that likes to collect that things and tries to share with you with others so in your daily work should you just think that you are the first guy who encounters some of the problems and that context that you are working out is so unique that nobody else has the same problem and try to solve it in our their fashion and should you reconsider that maybe you are not the smartest guy on the planet even that you are amazing guy nevertheless to be so ignorant that you will not try to utilize somebody else's experience you have to have a freedom of choice that's certain and your investment it's your own but should you reconsider to grasp the, all the knowledge that is available out there and think about your problem so if you want to do any kind of shift in this modern era which is kind of must you have less choice that you don't want to stay because nobody waits for you and the future is here you will have to somehow get the new knowledge about the new design patterns even that you may be used to utilize some of the previous ones you will continue to use them but in a different shape and form maybe we will now solving the different problems so when you have a, a new effort you should ask yourself even that I am such a keen and mean machine to be a pattern matching and I can be very creative should I really not invest in a grasping the knowledge that is somebody else's experience should I trust myself how much what is my goal as previously said is there a hype or not is the the somebody who presents some new technology new technology stack is this uh, something that will stick like evergreen music music or classical music or will be just a hype for this year like shoes how much I am biased to lies if I am uh, for instance a Vim lover uh, is the Vim always the best tool should I go with the tools that utilize Vim in their presentations just because I understand Vim or maybe I am missing the point point. and we are all biased that, that's not the question are we biased the question is are we aware of and how much and you should ask yourself am I biased can that influence my investment am I making the right choice and I personally like to talk about dogmas because dogmas are all around us and we like to follow the lead but not that's not always the case and we see that we also like huge successes from the companies like uber or facebook or whomever you can choose your hero if you like but nevertheless we want to utilize like the tools they are using because they have proven that it's a successful set of tools but maybe our context is totally different maybe we are not in position to mimic them and maybe we should 
build our own path. But we should be aware of these trade-offs uh, and we should not put our blinds in front of us. And the least, I want to share some thoughts that you usually somehow neglected how we come to achievement. We usually, even that we are mostly scientifically educated, we are kind of thinking, should I use this approach to document how I make success and why, what decisions I made every day? Or it's a, a good enough to have some breadcrumbs so in a six months time I will recall what I was talking about and why I choose left instead of right. And for the end, I'd like to just present you one thought of Nikola Tesla. And you should see offline, he's a very smart guy and he presented a lot of great thoughts. And one I cherry pick for this end of the presentation is life is something that is always progressing. And you, sh you cannot expect that you will solve the life equation. But there are some known stuff, either by your experience or by others, that you should look upon. And even that design patterns are currently not a hot topic, they are always present in your life. So don't neglect and just be wise. Thank you very much.